and professional salary schedule, and that involves, um, that's just the salary schedule. Then you should have the supplement list for Long Beach Middle School and Long Beach High School. Should that be next? That should be next. The 50 TLs, Mr. Club's financial statements. It must not have come through. It yeah, was in the There it is. Supplemental recommendation. Mr. Stubbs, do you want to see it? Those lists. This is the fair professional scale of the below. Has that down? I remember that last meeting. That isn't. No, that's not the issue. Yeah, see, I'm not. I didn't see these, and that's why I'm trying to find them, and we're moving along. Should be the last thing under personnel. No, it's not there. It's not. It's not in. It's not in. It goes from the paraprofessional payment list. Yeah, those are came out on the boosters. Yeah, we have one here, and I haven't seen it. Are you reviewing it, um, James? Do you have a second to review it, or? Well, we probably ought to pass it down with you. Yeah. Yes. I can't get down. Let me go first that way. Can you can you see it? There's that. There's two pages there. Yes, I checked my back. They have D, but there isn't some reason the documentation for C didn't. Didn't go through. Once again, and I received. Yeah, I, I got this. Yeah. Wow, we shouldn't be surprised. No, it's not wireless. Did y'all receive this? Yeah, that one. 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 Yeah, Opposed? Not opposed. 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 So look at them in your packets. That's here. The last thing that has the big clip in the packets. Uh, you can take that home and look at it. Just a of information so that y'all can see. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> the next item is update on PE building at Quarles. Um, we begin work after the board's walkthrough at Quarles. Right. Um, uh, Mr. Wallace has done some work for us. For um, has come in and if we're not making this problem with corals, they've added walls so that those exposed beams aren't there with children coming went into us. They pulled out some of the insulation that was bad and um, secured the roof. It was some of the rivets, right, Jamie? That screws, had yeah. Screws. Just screws. Go up in the top. That's where the leaks were occurring. Um, changed out the air conditioner unit and, and then built a closet on the end closest to the fourth grade hallway. So um, they will be ready to get back in there on, um, on Thursday, and it, it looks really good. Does it so, sneak? No, it's, right now you smell the nice wood smell that we put in the ceiling and, and in the wall. So. How much does it cost? Jamie, what is the estimated cost? It's just all came, we buy the material and we pay for their labor. So do you have any idea yet? Or? Right around 12, I thought I was mistaken. That should have it secure and set for another 20 to 25 years, we hope so. Because the frame itself, the structure itself, was in good shape. Even all the, all the metal was good, in good <clears throat> condition, too. Where did we get, where did that money come from? Where did we, how did we pay for that? Out of our maintenance, out of our maintenance budget. So, Jim, can, can, can we back up just a minute on the, the, the booster plug? And I'm just looking at this, we'll talk about it later, but it looks like we've got everybody on the same kind of spreadsheet on, on the same page. Well, we we put them on the same thing. We tried to give them the guidelines. Right. We created one here and then sent it to them. Some did and some didn't. And then when they sent them in, 
some of them didn't really tie together. Uh, we okay. had to send them back again. Yeah. I mean, it was just. Uh, I mean, because I mean, that's one of the things we wanted to do is get everybody on the same page and trying to get everybody in the same format. Right. Right. Okay. And just and basically verify what we're trying to do is just verify balances. That's the purpose of the beginning bank statement, the ending bank statement, and then you get a. And then the, the detail list in between. Right. Not, not that I'm trying to put a fine tooth comb on in any booster club. It just we, you know, we, we want to have them all on the same page and do it the same way so that when the audit comes around, it all it all works out right. Thank you for um, getting them all uniform and easy to read. I appreciate that. All right, um, James, you said you would like to discuss agenda modification. Yes. Uh, we are looking at a number of things going on in school, especially in academics and curriculum and uh, student improvement and teacher improvement. And when I, you know, we spent a lot of time going over financial things and talking about changes to the school, et cetera, et cetera. But I think we need to also start looking at the improvements that are being made, uh, the actual uh, stu student performance and get some information on where we are and where we're going and how we get in there and some of the changes that are happening. And so based on that, I think that we need to have a section, at least a section, on our agenda that address student achievement, uh, improvement, you know, along that student academic. And, and, and Would you want it every, I mean, okay, in the, usually the September or the October meeting, you'll get your, um, We'll do the presentation on our test scores. That'll be about a 30, 40 minute presentation at the meeting, like it was last year. Right. Then we will do district common term assessments once in nine weeks. Is that, do you want, so once, once in nine weeks, do you want that information I, on how we're doing? Well, see, I, I'm not sure, I have to do a little bit uh, more research because everything that we're supposed to be doing is based on um, uh, uh, student achievement. And, but we spend not very much time on student achievement. When we get the, the end of year re uh, report that we have now, we look at what we're uh, But we are using JBHM to come in and do things. We had a consultant to come in and do things. Um, and when we look at our uh, scores and say that the students are uh, rated here and there are certain areas that we're weak in, but we don't see uh, what is being done, I guess, to bring up those weak areas? And I know that, you know, you're saying JDM is here and the consultants here and there are great things, but, you know, where is, do we see the growth? And I don't think we are seeing the growth. And I, and I don't know whether we can adequately uh, uh, put that in on, on a piece of paper. I, it, it's just something I feel that we are missing in terms of being able to say how all of this is impacting student achievement. Jim, how do we get some of those numbers once a quarter? I think that 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 is really runs a year behind. Also, yeah, well, see, you know, but in your, it run, I agree, it runs yeah. a year behind. But when we see deficiencies, what are we doing to overcome those, and how effective are those processes that we are putting in place uh, doing in order to move those subgroups forward? We, we can do a report yeah. for you, like on the kind of things that not just JBHM is doing, but the kind of things we're doing in classrooms and um, observations of teachers and what working on with instructional coaches and the types of things we see in an overview. I don't want to go in front of a group of what we're seeing in each individual teacher, yeah. but we can tell you we are seeing a lot of the same things that need improvement. Um, and remember this process started two years ago. We saw some big gains in a few areas last year on test scores, the test scores that just came out. Right. The work we're doing now, hopefully we're going to see some gains this year, but sometimes for some of these gains it may take two years to see to really implement all this because it's a complete change <coughs> of what is going on in the classroom. Uh, are but these we can do some reports to tell you that. Yeah, well, I was going to say, are, are these reports you can just pull up or do you, do you have to go physically in and, and just and make them? Can you just like pull these reports up? Nine weeks and so, I mean, no, we, want, we'd have to make the report. I'm, I'm, I'm not in favor of this. I don't think I want to add one more thing for them to do when our scores are high. We have two blue ribbon schools. I think that's a, just asking more of them to do that we don't really need. Well, um, we're, we've hired a good superintendent. She's running the school well. If there are any deficient areas, she'll come and ask us if she needs some money to get a program 
or something. She has always done that. And well, but these are probably reports that Carolyn asked for anyway. Well, one of the things that everything that is going on today is supposed to be the decision of the board is data driven. And if it's data driven, where is the data? You know, and I'm not saying that you're not there. Please, don't take this negative, okay? What I'm saying is, is that, is that, are we, do we as board members truly have a good picture of how effective these processes and these programs, these dollars that we spend on student achievement is actually, um, how effective they are, and, 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 and yet, I'm not saying you, Carol, because I'm sure you see all. But the, I see all. Yeah, you know. see all. But does the board truly understand how effective this money is that we are spending? You know, and, and if, if you go to the WD board meeting and and, and, Carol, uh, uh, and you look at the, the thing that I dropped on the desk, because I can see the stuff missing this James Stubb board meeting. All these programs and presentations are being done now is a teaching showing board members how to make decisions that is based on data on student achievement and where students are going and how they're getting from point A to point B. And if we can't see that, how do we know whether this has been effective? And I'm not saying that it's not effective. I because I, I have a lot of faith in Carol. I mean Carol is doing a fantastic job in pushing things in the right direction. However, boy, do we understand that. We can't even get together and do a walkthrough. I don't even know why we talk about that. That's not the issue. I think, and I share it with us. I think we lack, if you go back two years, and I think what the way we're seeing some of this return on investment, it is an annual, it is our end of the year. Two years ago, we saw what was in the, the future course with all these um, test, state testing. They came back last year. They realized, they implemented some of the um, assessments, and we hired JPHM. So two years ago, we kind of saw that, and, we, and our return on investment was when we got those scores from two years ago to last year, they improved. That was a return on investment. If we can see those actual scores and those test, those area testings improve, that is our return on investment. I, I think I know what you're talking about, just seeing a quarterly or a, a, a look of all full fourth grade, they were all 2.3, now we're, uh, we've hired these people where they have 2.5. I know what you're trying to say, but in school world, I don't know if what you're asking for is what can be done. I, I'm looking at it every year. That's how we, we do our grades. But, I mean, can you give us a model of what you're talking That's about? What I, I mean, James, I, just, I understand completely what you're, you're talking about. And, I, and I, love, I love looking at reports. Um, in, in my world, it's real easy because I, I've got a total point of sale right. all the way around the circle. And I can pull up all kind of reports. I can find out what time of day am I the busiest. I, I mean, just, just by pulling up different reports. <coughs> and these are some of the things I think James talking about, you know. Uh, uh, right. Have a sketch. Where, where, where's our, our low points and high points on, on a lot of different... Um, well, I think right next to that was the oranges. And really, I understand what James is wanting. And I understand... But I just don't know how practical that is for, that for you to do. That I or, or, do not want to ask them to do one more thing to be pulling data when it's already given to us. You see by line items on the agenda or a slideshow presentation. The data is given to us all year long. Our scores are always for us to see. Um, that's just I think what we are looking at is when I ask for something, I think we're focusing on reports. And, and I don't necessarily want a handwritten summary of the fourth grade class. A summation of what is occurring could be presented by Carol. You know, you know, we we had these problems in the fourth grade uh, classroom, and we we identified these. And this is what we have done to bring this or improve this. We have taken every fourth grade kid that's less than a B is going to remedial training, and that started last week. And we're going to take it for five weeks. And at the end of the five weeks, we're going to do an assessment and determine whether it was effective or not. You know, we, you, you see, what I'm saying I don't need all this. We can do reports, we can do a general report of what we do at the beginning of the year. We finish baseline testing, and um, the, the teachers are working on the triangulation of data. 